triggers are a special kind of data type that only runs at event flow. They send out a short trigger to, well, trigger other nodes. This can be a great way to animate based on events and create BPM synced animations. In this example, we have a trigger in node that will trigger an attack release node. When I send a trigger to the attack release node, it will generate a value from 0 to 1 and back to 0, the speed of which is set by the attack and the release time. We add 0.1 to this value, making sure the value going into the radius of the circle is never lower than 0.1, as a radius of 0 would make the circle disappear. In this example, we have a metronome node. This node sends out a trigger each second when its frequency is at 1. We use the metronome to trigger the random node, which generates a random flow 2 value between minus 1 and 1. Flow 2 is sent to the transform node's translation inlet to move the circle to random positions. In this example, we use the transport beat node. This node sends out a trigger according to the BPM. Currently, the BPM is set to 120. Each beat, we send a trigger to the first attack release node, which adjusts the width and height of the rectangle. Each bar, we send a trigger to the second attack release node, which fully rotates the rectangle. Learning to work with triggers is really just a starting point of making complex, beat-synchronized and interactive animations. If you are interested in this subject, make sure to check out the animation tutorials in WIRE.